Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends, thank you for tuning in to these daily devotionals. I pray that they're a blessing to you and to your family and to everyone that is connected to you as we're praying about spiritual warfare. And today is day number 13 as we continue our prayer series. We're praying through the word of God. We prayed the first nine days through 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 3 through 6. And now we've started um, to move into Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 through 20, and talking about the uh, armor of God, putting on the whole armor of God. And today I want to read a passage scripture from Ephesians 6 and verse 12 in particular, as it'll give us our prayer focus for today. And Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12 says, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. Amen. God wants to make it clear to us who we are fighting against and who we are not fighting against. And the Lord makes it clear today that our battle is not against other people. It's not against flesh and blood. As much as it may seem like it's against the person sitting across from you or the person that you run into or some personality, there's more to it than that. We're not fighting against each other. What we're literally fighting is a spiritual battle. And here in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12, the Lord makes it clear. He points out who the real enemy is and he gives us a list so we'll know specifically who we're fighting. So that when we take up the weapons of our warfare, we can wield them in the right direction. And today he tells us we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities. And so today we want to pray for God's protection against principalities. And that word principalities simply means rulers, evil rulers in spiritual places. You know, Satan has a kingdom and he has a line of authority. And he rules his kingdom and his imps, other demons, follow his plan and follow his, his evil, wicked schemes to kill and steal and to destroy. And so that's who we're fighting against, rulers of the darkness of this age. And so what we want to do is pray for God's protection against him, that God is greater, for greater is he that is in us, the Holy Spirit, than he that is operating in this world, which is Satan. So we want to pray specifically that God would protect each one of us and our families and everyone connected to us from spiritual rulers in spiritual warfare. Come on, let's pray. Father, in Jesus name, we thank you and bless you and praise you for this day that you have made. God, we are rejoicing. We are glad in it. Father, we thank you that we are your children and we thank you that you are our heavenly father. We thank you, Lord, that you loved us so much that you gave your only begotten son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins and be saved and to be raised from the dead for the saving of our souls. We thank you, Lord, that you love us enough to protect us from the enemy in the invisible realm. We thank you, Lord, that you've given us weapons for our spiritual warfare, that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but are mighty to the pulling down of strongholds. We thank you, Lord, that you have not left us defenseless, but you have given us your armor, the whole armor of God to put on, that we might be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy, the schemes and the strategies of Satan. And Lord, today I come against rulers in wicked places. I come against the devil and his, his demons, Lord, that would try to be pointed to take out pastors and preachers and teachers, to try to take out fathers out of the lives of their children, to try to take out mothers out of the lives of their children, to try to disrupt families, to try to take out children before they can become saved or before they can reach their potential. I come against the rulers of the darkness of this age that would try to sow confusion into our government agencies and government leadership positions, Lord. I come against the enemy, Lord, that would try to sow, con sow confusion in the financial marketplaces and in our jobs and in our business dealings, Lord. I, tr I come against the enemy who would try to sow his discord and his, his seeds of fear and of, of lies and of
in our structures, Lord, so that we are fighting not against him, but against each other. And so, Lord God, in the power of the name of Jesus, I come against every demonic influence and every demonic force that would try to set itself against your will being done in the earth, even as it is in heaven, Lord. We wage war in the spirit, Lord. We do battle with spiritual weapons, knowing that our spiritual weapons are mighty in God to the pulling down of strongholds. We thank you for the power of life and death being in our tongues, God. We thank you for the power of being in the word of God, for we are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for we know that it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. So Lord, we believe every jot and tittle of your word. We believe that the grass withers in the flower phase, but the word of the Lord shall stand forever. We thank you, Lord God, that your word is sharper than any two-edged sword. It cuts going and coming. So Lord, we take up this word of God, which is the sword of the spirit, and we wield it against the enemy, against rulers in wicked places, Lord, against spiritual rulers and spiritual wickedness in high places. We come against it now, Lord God, and we declare victory in the lives of your people. Thank you, O oh God, that we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus who loved us. Thank you, Jesus, that you've canceled out the plan of the enemy, that you died on the cross for our sins, that you were raised from the dead for the forgiveness of our sins, that you stood out on resurrection ground and you declared that all power in heaven and in earth are in your hands, O oh God. And we come in the name of Jesus in that great and mighty name, in that matchless name of Jesus, for you told us, God, that when we ask anything in your name, that it would be done for us. For herein is your Father in heaven, Jesus, glorified that we bear much fruit. So in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come against the rulers of the darkness of this age, and we declare their works to be finished in the lives of your people. We declare their works to be to come to naught in the lives of your people, Lord. And we declare victory in your name, in their lives, and we believe it right now in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, for anyone that is up under spiritual and demonic attack, Lord, that you would send a host of angels, Lord, from heaven, dispatch them now into their situation and into their circumstance, Lord. Let them know that uh, there is more that is for us than there are that are against us, oh God. Help them to know that when you are on our side, you are more than the world against us, God. Help them to know, oh God, that you are uh, uh, an awesome God and a mighty God. Show up in their situation, Lord. Let them know that you will deliver them, you will heal them, and you will set them free in the name of Jesus. And I thank you for the testimonies that we overcome by the blood of the lamb and we overcome by the word of our testimonies. I pray for testimonies to break out all over the body of Christ, to break out in families, Lord, that will declare that if it had not been for you, oh God, that was on our side and doing battle for us in spiritual places, we would have lost a long time ago. But thanks be to God that we have the victory in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. We thank God for just the power of prayer. We thank God for his promises in prayer. We come against um, every principality, every ruler of darkness in this age that would set itself up against the things of God and up against the people of God. So I want you to go in the victory that God has already given us today, putting on the whole armor of God, knowing that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, and rulers of the darkness in this age, and against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. But our God has given us the victory. Go in that victory today. Subscribe to the channel. Share the channel with somebody else. Um, pray with um, your family and your prayer partners, and let's believe God for victory in our spiritual warfare. I'll be back tomorrow to pray with you and to pray for you. I love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless you.